And he thought to himself, he's been kind to me. I know his son is taking the throne. So as a gesture, so he sent two of his mightiest men in his army. And when they got there, someone had gotten into the king, the young prince's ear and said, do you really think that they're coming to show comfort to us? They're coming to spy out the land. They're measuring the walls and take our city. This prince ordered that half of their beard be shaved off. They were tampering with their rank, with their identity, with their pride. And David hears what happened and he sends a man out and says, don't let them come into the town. I don't want them in the town circle to be humiliated. Tell them instead to go to Jericho. Now listen to this. Jericho means sweet fragrance. I want them to go over there to that sweet place and I want them to stay there until their beard grows back. I love the fact that he didn't let them come in and everybody see them in their shame. It reminds me of the prodigal son story when the father heard his prodigal son was coming home covered in, in the slop of the pig pen. He ran out with the robe, with the shoes, covered him, didn't want all those people to see him in his condition. I'm thankful we got that kind of king who doesn't want to humiliate us and wouldn't want people to see our shame. Somebody offends you. Listen now, just go to Jericho and stay sweet. Your beard will grow back. Your respect will come back. Your honor will come back. I know what they did was bad, but calm down, calm down. It'll all come back. It'll grow back. Don't get mad. Don't seek vengeance. If you just stay sweet, I promise you, and everything's going to be fine. It's so hard to stay sweet when we get offended. A natural person just wants to get in a shouting match and we want to go after and retaliate. I think of Romans 14 right here. For vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Two things God says are mine in the scriptures. The tithe is mine and vengeance is mine and don't you touch either one it belongs to god and god alone and all he's asking you to do is stay sweet and give the vengeance part to him and quit talking about it quit being angry about it quit letting it obsess your life and let it go people rip you off people steal from you people do you wrong don't get bitter don't get angry don't get hate filled watch god if you'll stay sweet, watch God.